Longhorns wrapping up spring practice with the orange and white game. A fun interactive experience for the fans able to hang out on the field before the game. Also before the game and down on the field, the circle drill. And how about this? Both Shane Bouchelle and Sam Ellinger going at it. Not too often that you see the quarterbacks looking for some hard contact like that. As for the actual game itself, Ellinger getting the start with the white team. Ellinger and Bouchelle split up on two different teams. Connects with Devin Duvernay, a 41-yard toss, but the drive stalls out, ends in a field goal. Orange squad, led by Shane Bouchelle, keeping the play alive with his feet, rolling to his right, then cutting it back to his left. Connects with Colin Johnson, great snag in the end zone for an 11-yard touchdown. Johnson, poised for a breakout junior year. Bouchelle, 12 of 21, 130 yards passing. Defense picking up where it left off last year. Malcolm Roach sacks Bouchelle, then in the secondary, Chris Boyd with the pass breakup. He's expected to help carry the defense on the back end. Ellinger, pretty similar numbers to Bouchelle. 13 of 22, 151 yards. Connects with little Jordan Humphrey. He's down just short of the goal line, but he's the breakout star of this game. Lines up at running back and punches it in from a yard out. One of two touchdowns on the ground. 14 yards rushing on four carries. 100 yards receiving on seven catches. In the second half, shorter quarters and a running clock. The backups getting most of the reps. Cameron Rising. One of two early enrollee quarterbacks. Nice strike to Jordan Pouncey. 32-yard gain, rising 6 of 9, 57 yards. And Casey Thompson, the other early enrollee quarterback. 88 yards on 5 of 9 passing. Showing off his wheels on the ground, but their starting quarterbacks, Bouchelle and Ellinger, didn't blow anyone out of the water, but did what they were supposed to. We all feel a lot better about that quarterback room, right? I mean, both the, the two veteran quarterbacks, I thought looked really good, and you guys got a glimpse of what we've seen uh, for the first, you know, 14 practices in those young guys. So I thought Sam looked good tonight. I thought the, bo both veteran quarterbacks looked good. I, you know, we missed a couple of those deep balls, and I we hadn't been, and I think, you know, that's probably, as I was thinking about why that happened, quarterbacks probably had a lot of adrenaline going tonight. They were pretty excited to play. Next on the calendar for this team, a little bit of off time, then summer conditioning, and it's a long five-plus month countdown till the season opener at Maryland on September 1st. 90 minutes north on I-35, Baylor holding its spring game. Matt Rule coming off a one-win debut season with the Bears. Former Lake Travis quarterback Charlie Brewer started four games as a true freshman last season. Connects with Marquez Jones for a 64-yard touchdown. Brewer feeling more comfortable in year two. I think it, it went well, showed uh, a little bit of the improvement that we've made, and uh, we just got to carry that on into the summer. Yeah, I think just leadership-wise, just being more comfortable with all, with all the guys and stuff like that has really helped. Um, just feeling more comfortable with just the offense. Brewer was limited to start the spring because of a shoulder injury suffered in the season finale against TCU, but said he feels great and is at full go yet again. Bears open the year at home against Abilene Christian. Coming up after the break, NBA playoffs, Rockets in Minnesota.